And now, sports coverage you can count on with Way31 sports anchor Max Cohan. A trip to the Magic City, it's what every high school team in the state has on their minds at the beginning of every season. The state finals, a chance to put your name in the record books and bring home that coveted blue map on the line here at the BJCC this week. Teams are now just two wins away from bringing home that state title starting today with the Final Four. Up first, the reigning 1A champion Skyline Vikings taking on Locha Poca. To no one's surprise, Blakely Stuckey had another huge game for the Vikes, leading the team with 21 points as she missed just one shot all game. So I was still nervous, but once we get on the court and start playing, then all my nerves go away. While Skyline was up big for much of the contest, the Indians never stopped pushing. Tyla Murph was hard to contain, leading all scorers with 22 points. But the Vikings saw big contributions from Gracie Roll and Kana King, who combined for 26 points as Skyline heads back to the title game with the 57-44 win. After this season's over, we put it on the board every year, like how many days it is to this, to this day. So we've had it on the board for this long. So. We've worked this hard to get here. We, we need to finish what we started. Up next, Decatur Heritage looking to return to the finals for the first time since 2019 with a win over Brantley. Things didn't start well for the Eagles as Brantley built a 13-7 lead in the first quarter. Decatur Heritage missed their first 10 threes but found a way back into the game once they started falling. I think my words were thank the Lord uh, <laughs> that we started making some shots. So. It was going to be a long night for us if we didn't make some outside shots. Decatur Heritage held off a late push from Brantley, punching their ticket to the 1A final with the 42-38 win. Braden Kyle led the Eagles with 9 points and 15 rebounds and says finishing his high school career in the state title game means the world to him. I love how I know it's my final game. So, uh, I mean, I'm, just, I'm going to give it all on the court. I mean, it's, it's everything I've dreamed of since I was a little kid. Looking to join Decatur Heritage in the finals, Covenant Christian takes the court against the reigning champions from Otagaville. In the playoffs, Reed Trapp has turned things up a notch, and big threes like this one led to his 29-point effort Monday. Up until really a couple games before the area tournament, I just, I mean, I couldn't throw a ball in the ocean. But uh, shots have started to fall, and I think that just, we've been more patient on offense and getting the looks that we're getting it's just allowed for more quality shots all around. That was highlighted by a third quarter where Covenant shot 92% from the field, putting both Trapp and Haston Alexander in double-double territory as they held off Otagaville. And on their first trip to the Final Four, the Eagles advanced to the finals with the 73-62 win. Now they're looking forward to an All-Eagles final. A great program. Um, they've, they've been here before, won it before. They put us out, actually, the year they won it uh, in the Elite Eight that year. Um, they're, they're a good program. Uh, I have nothing but respect for, uh, for them, and so it's, it's going to be a fun game. So an exciting start to the day, but the action is far from over here at the BJCC. Be sure to join us back here at 10 for more action from the state finals. Reporting in Birmingham, Max Cohan, Way 31 Sports.